I can't believe you're taking over my yeah, little trip. Oh, it'll be, what? It'll up, be up there? something. Yeah. So how are you been asked for? Good. Yeah, how are you? Okay. Yeah. You've been getting your email forwards. I just put. I just got the new one. Yeah. Yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I found out so late. I was like, fuck. I gotta do it before like the Baltimore thing is over, just so people will go. The rolling. I have to send out my email. Oh my god. What am I gonna do? Except that they. I haven't checked it since, and now it's gonna be like all this email stuff back. Damn. Gonna be a lot. <laughs> I'm sure there's more interesting things you could be filming, but <laughs> oh, there are. But yeah. this is like character. This is character. You just got my breath there. Oh no, this is okay. just your face. Really? Don't exploit it. You could sell it for more money if it was breasts. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh well, in that case, here. So just to make you happy, Sarah. There. <laughs> no. Ma-
half a page. Oh, at some point today, because we're printing it. Today. Oh yeah, at some, some point, point today. today. If you could like, you know, while you're sitting at your table, just like make a, a half a page, uh, and we'll put it in our zine and sell it back to you tomorrow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got our schedule of events listed up here, uh, and it's we're gonna like cling to it loosely. Um, tomorrow we've got a couple of hours where there'll be uh, some workshops, but we also thought if anybody wanted to do a workshop that they didn't see on our list, they, they, we, they we'll have a little time to have like DIY workshops and whoever wants to do one can write it on this list here. We've already got one on how to balance your checkbook <laughs> with our treasurer, uh, Richard Rosenberg. And uh, anyway, so you can sign up for that over here. And uh, I guess that's it. Uh, the first thing we're going to do today, and I'm, I'm not sure how, like usually we used to do workshops from there and people would just sit up here, but I'm thinking there's so few of us, it's, how do you want to do it? We can make either a big circle and just sit around and talk, or? Big circle. You, you yeah. like that idea? Okay, we'll, we'll do that. It'll be a lot more homey. Do we maybe share our feelings with one another? Right. <laughs> a group hug at the end. A group hug at the end. So we'll, we'll, do, see we'll see yeah. spend a few minutes like First thing we're going to do is Courtney Bennett, who's ripping up our schedule over there, is um, going to tell us about how Zine Libraries work, because she's been an archivist for Underground Media for, how long has that library been going? Just over two years now. Excellent. So, so that'll be at one o'clock, and um, go back to your business. Thank you for coming. Oh, one more thing. This event is sponsored, as I mentioned before, by the Free Speech Coalition, and representing that coalition. Is Richard Rostenberg, our treasurer, who will say a few words. Thank you. Uh, everybody, uh, thank you uh, for being here, everybody who is in this room. Uh, uh, Zine, uh, Erica, and her crew have been here three years and made everyone, and it's really exciting. Thank you. And uh, if you would like to be, uh, to know how we do elaborate uh, productions like this, it's people who are volunteers, uh, who have a passion. Uh, most everybody who's kind of a requirement has a real job. Um, those who don't still uh, participate and, and put in what they can in time and effort. And we're all, it's all volunteer situation here, and it depends on people, and I'm inviting everybody uh, to who would be liking to work on uh, putting new months on next year, months four, uh, see me or Steve, and we will work uh, whether you're in town or out of town, it uh, doesn't make any difference because it's, you'll notice that the participation here is about half and half in town and out of town. So uh, don't be shy. Uh, but uh, obviously, we need some some help from people who are excited about the freedom of speech, which is I'm going to just say that the Free Speech Coalition. This is our tenth year of culture under fire. Ten. We're very proud of that. Uh, what the Free Speech Coalition has done in the past and will continue to do is a forum for free speech events, uh, things in the arts. We feel that it's important that, that people who have an idea, a passion like you, uh, people all have a passion for zines. Uh, if you have something like that, bring it to us. We'll put it in a, in a sponsorship during the week of Culture Under Fire 11 next year. So also we do events during um, the uh, band book week in September. So what we are is a, we're, we sponsor the arts. We want to make sure that the, the different uh, forms of speech get up and, and there's a forum for it. So anybody who's interested, I have a, a information forms uh, at the table over there. We're really excited to have you here. We hope that you're going to come. Thank you. Thanks for coming. I'll just take it all home and I'll read it myself. What does that mean? Text with an E. I don't know. 
Yeah. All the time, so I get kind of it's like. Well, you can't really escape it. Anymore. Yeah. Well, my job, I have to watch it. I have to do monitor TV news. Oh, uh, what station really? do you work at? I don't work at a TV station. Work for this company. I'm kind of like really half club, half St. Louis. So, uh, they sell like these news pieces, like PR firms and stuff. So it's just really. Cool. <laughs> It's just like, and after seeing enough of the school shoot, you know, I keep thinking to myself after work, I'm picking up my copy of Heather, so. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, just wanted, wanted to... ABC did a really terrible job, because, like, I mean, the night of that, they, uh, they immediately started blaming, like, Marilyn Manson and, like, the basketball diaries. But I was thinking that Heather's... Well, the thing with the basketball like, diaries is that's a true story. I mean, yeah. that's what Jim Carroll actually yeah. went through back in the 60s. Yeah. People who made the movie were smart. At the trial, they get Jim Carroll to come down there, verbally clean everyone's clock out, and just say... And including curing the gateway theory since he tried heroin before he tried marijuana because he thought marijuana was addictive. <laughs> well, it's sort of like they, they turns out a fantasy. Well, they were watching the footage and they kept running that footage from basketball, di from basketball diaries over and over again. Oh, this was the cause. This is like, yeah. no, they were, well, first of all, they were a little bit, they were a little bit insane. <laughs> and then, and then comes to find then, as it gradually reveals, there's all these all these signs, rather obvious signs, and of course nobody well, pays attention. All, if you're going to do something that stupid, it's like, why would you leave your plans in open view? You memorize them and destroy them. It's like, it's like they, they were idiots. They thought they were going to hijack a plane. It's like, you wouldn't survive their force security. Mm, yeah. That's a pretty grandiose Let's give you a little So you are shot the wound. Yeah, I wonder where Ellie went. She likes cameras. Ellie! And what is Shaka Wit? Well, the old biology teacher at my old high school, he sneezed like this. Shaka Wit! <laughs> <laughs> and a new victory cry was born. <laughs> So it's like, uh, Z, so several so Z's, we have yeah. I'm So Clumsy, My Imaginary Fig Tree. And Untitled. <laughs> now, are, you all, are you from the area? Or are yeah, you I'm from Kansas City. <laughs> I'm Kansas City also. Bred and born. Ben's from Kansas City. Rabbi Horseradish is from Kansas City. Jasper and Ira and Kenneth and Cleaver and Thaddeus are from Kansas City. <laughs> Jesus is from um, Nazare Bethlehem. Nazareth, Bethlehem. <laughs> and that's the end. And Sarah is from Hollywood. And Mady is from the Unpolice Straits off the coast of Malacca. Desktop publishing. Uh, like I don't know what he uses. No idea. I'm gonna ask. Him. I'm probably not going to be talking to him about this. <laughs> but I'm gonna ask Lewis when he's back over here. <laughs> Oh, I've seen these, these recycled recycle yeah. um, yeah. signs. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have more yeah. like, packaging stuff tomorrow that you can have for free, too. But okay. I haven't made that package They're about high school. Oh. He came here with a bag of money. Yeah. I know. I, was, I kind of yeah. looked. Yeah. I'm surprised going to get so. any money. I'm going to get glasses to do it. I was really impressed with the artwork. Oh, thank you. With the artwork. I'll probably have a fan of... 
I didn't, so I kind of blew my deadline. I kind of blew my deadline two months ago. So you don't have any? I do have some. I just don't have a table. So. Oh, do you want to trade me? Uh, I could trade. I could trade you, but I think I traded you. I think you have that one. Uh, well. Could I trade you? Yes. Okay. You could. I'll buy. I'll buy one, one for you. Buy one for me. And I'll trade. And I'll trade you when I get it finished. These are fifty cents a piece. If we're over here, doll, you can. 